Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007 and today we're looking at a plugin called Inventory Weight. So this is a really awesome plugin which adds another element in survival Minecraft to think about and it's how much you're carrying. Now if you play games like Fallout, Red Dead Redemption and Skyrim, you know that you can only carry a certain amount of things and the more heavy stuff you carry, the slower you become. And this plugin tries to emulate that. Now you can see at the moment I'm carrying absolutely nothing and I am quite speedy. I am running about all over the place very, very quickly. Now if I were to pick up some of these iron axes, which I know are pretty heavy, especially when they're in a stack of 64, suddenly we become very, very slow. Now there's a very useful command called IW weight, and that's going to show you the total carrying capacity that you can have, your current weight, and how your speed has been affected. Now you can see I've been testing this uh, with various weights. Uh, once you get to that capacity, you will not be able to move at all. So if we go over here and just load myself up on these, you actually get a message in chat saying, can't carry your weight anymore, you're going to need to drop some items. Uh, so just like Skyrim, you will not be able to move. And then it checks your inventory weight every couple of seconds. So if we do this command, we can see we are exactly 12 over. So if I drop and one more, and now we can actually move. We are incredibly slow. We have 1% of our normal speed. And then obviously we can dump quite a few of those in to gain some speed back. And you can see we're now at 62% of the speed that we were originally. And we are at 200 out of 500. So that is how it works in game. Now each item has a different weight amount. So if we were to chop down one block of this tree, uh, that will be one weight. So if you don't see an item listed in the config file, it defaults to one, whatever the weight measurement is. Now if we do change something in the config file, we can do forward slash IW reload, and that will reload the configuration. And that's actually what we're going to have a look at right now. So here we are in the inventory weight plugin folder. You can see there's two files. There's a messages file, and this is stuff that you will see pop up in chat. So you don't really need to mess with that at all. And then the config, this is what we want to look at. There's a few useful things in here. First, we have the weight limit. So 500, that seems quite a lot. That's definitely a lot of stuff you can carry. And then do you want to have a player's movement disabled when they hit that number, which you could see happening to me in game. And then we've got the min and max walking speed, so make sure they're between 1 and 0. And then 0 0.20 is the default walking speed. So this plugin actually makes you walk a little bit faster when you're not carrying anything. And obviously you can tweak these numbers to your heart's content. And then the inventory timer, so you saw there was a tiny bit of lag, um, a second or two, before it actually updated uh, if I drop some items. Then we have the world, so you can list certain worlds that it will work in, or if you don't have anything here, it will affect every world. So what we could do is get rid of that pound sign for it to read this line, and that means it wouldn't work in the nether, creative. And then do you want only armor slots to be counted for a player's weight, yes or no? And then here's the default weight, so if you don't want to list every item, which I wouldn't recommend, it would take many, many hours to do that, um, they will default to a weight of one. And then down here we have the material weight. So you can see by default there's not very many. Um, that's why in here you can go ahead and copy and paste one of these. And then this one could be an iron axe. That's what we are using. Maybe 12. And obviously you could go through as many blocks and items as you wanted. Now here we are on the spigot page. It's updated from 1.12 to 1.18, but it's working perfectly fine on 1.19.2. And you can see this is what the plugin looks like in game. Here are the placeholders if you want to use it with another plugin. And then here are the permissions. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.